Though new deposit dates have been confirmed, and top lawmakers have announced that checks worth up to fifteen hundred dollars will be automatically deposited and mailed out to millions of Americans this month of December, billions of dollars in stimulus money has so far been approved in several U.S. states and cities. So, dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to find out if you are eligible. Also, know that I'll be giving away a fifty-dollar Walmart gift card every day this month. If you would like to enter these giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on. The more likely your chances of winning these giveaways. Consent to address the House and to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, this Christmas, Americans are facing hard choices about the gifts that they can afford to buy their friends and their loved ones. The skyrocketing cost of everyday goods and services will now cost the American families over seven hundred dollars each month. According to a survey published by the Associated Press, one in three Americans are now reported to be falling behind on their bills and on their expenses. It's now more clear than ever that American families cannot afford President Biden's failed policies. Reversing this inflation will only happen when we stop the tax and spend spree that the liberals in this body have championed. American families will only be financially secure when President Biden stops wasting money and wasting the taxpayers' dollars. We need to return to fiscal restraint and responsibility. We need to stop spending money that we do not have on policies that we do not need. So, New Jersey residents have until the end of January 2023 to apply for a tax relief program that could return. Up to fifteen hundred dollars. The application for the Affordable New Jersey Communities for Homeowners and Renters Program, also known as Anchor, has been set for January thirty-first of next year. Homeowners with incomes of up to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars will be eligible to receive fifteen hundred dollars in relief, while homeowners making between one hundred and fifty thousand dollars and two hundred and fifty thousand dollars annually. Will be eligible to receive one thousand dollars. Renters are also eligible for this program, but they will only be eligible to receive four hundred and fifty dollars if they make less than one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. New Jersey Senate President Nicholas Scutari said that the government is making use of resources to provide homeowners and renters with direct financial assistance. That can alleviate several burdens. State officials told reporters this week, for the residents of New Jersey, affordability is the most pressing issue, and property taxes are the greatest burden. Extending the deadline will give our residents a greater ability to take advantage of a program that will help make their lives more affordable. The deadline for applications was originally set for December 31st, but was pushed back one month. To allow as many people eligible to apply for it, Governor Phil Murphy has been embarking on an aggressive advertising and marketing campaign to ensure people are aware of the program. The eligibility of New Jersey homeowners and renters requires them to have occupied their primary residence on October first, two thousand nineteen, and for them to file or be exempt from New Jersey income taxes. The payments from the anchor program will begin being sent out in late spring 2023. All applicants will receive these payments as either direct deposits or paper checks. Also, friends, the final batch of $1,500 direct stimulus payments will be sent to Colorado taxpayers next month. Due to Colorado's taxpayers' bill of rights, which holds that the state cannot spend more taxpayer money than it generates. Every state resident who filed taxes before June thirtieth will receive a refund check of seven hundred and fifty dollars for individuals, and then fifteen hundred dollars for joint filers. Many residents have not received their checks as of yet, particularly those who filed by the October seventeenth extension. But Colorado Treasurer Dave Young 
assured that those who are worried about their checks that their money will arrive very soon, but that the problem is that they are printing so many checks that the printer cannot keep up with the demand. Friends, the key word for this video is Zion National Park. If you would like to enter the next Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Zion National Park and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure, friends, that you're also subscribed to my channel. Idaho residents only have 29 days left to apply for a tax rebate featuring up to $300 for individual filers and $600 for joint filers. To qualify for this rebate, state residents must have been full year residents in both 2020 and 2021 and filed their individual income tax for both years by December 31st, 2022. The amount that filers receive will vary due to the filer's financial status. The rebate is intended to provide residents some financial relief amid inflation. The rebate legislation was approved by Republican Governor Brad Little and state lawmakers in September during a special session of the state legislature. Some rebates have already been dispersed, but additional rebates will go out as residents qualify and apply for the payments. Residents can receive these rebates either through direct deposits, any outstanding tax payments owed to the state will be deducted from the final rebate automatically by tax authorities. Around 800,000 rebates worth $500 million are estimated to be sent out by the end of March 2023. Friday's jobs report showed the buzzing U.S. economy is creating hundreds of thousands of jobs, suggesting rising prices are here to stay despite efforts by the Federal Reserve to contain them. The United States added 263,000 jobs in November. That is far more than the 200,000 job gain that economists expected to see. The jobless rate also held even at 3.7%, just 0.2 percentage points above its level in February 2020. So that is not bad news. If you are looking to get a different job or a new job, but it is bad news for policymakers who are worried about inflation, which is a huge political issue for both parties. So, dear friends, please let me know if inflation is affecting your lives and how. Please leave those thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my beautiful and amazing dearest friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Saturday evening. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me here and watching these new videos that I post. And I truly hope that you found this information helpful. Remember, friends, that I'll be announcing another winner in a video later today and every day this month of December. So please make sure that you do stay tuned for those videos and you're free to enter as many times as you want. Thank you so much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Saturday.